let's look at the cotangent graph right now. And so let's give you some characteristics of what the basic cotangent graph will look like. Uh, first of all, let's identify what its period is. And its period is similar to that. Well, it's not similar. It's the same as a tangent, which is pi. So it repeats itself every pi units on the basic cotangent graph. Its domain. Domain means all the places where uh, it's undefined at. Uh, well, it's all the places except where it's undefined. And the cotangent was undefined at... So I'm going to put undefined at 0 um, and pi... And uh, as we continue on, all, all potential variables of pi. So 0 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, and so forth. And that kind of tells us where it's vertical asymptotes that are at. Vertical asymptotes are at the places where the graph is undefined at. Um, and so the graph is undefined at 0. So we know that this is a vertical asymptote. If we put pi right there, it's undefined at pi. It's also undefined at negative pi. So not, not quite defined in the exact same place as the tangent, which shifted over uh, a little bit. So its range, its range again is all real numbers or all values. So we're gonna make it from negative infinity to positive infinity. The vertical asymptotes, we kind of de uh, defined We define by looking at our domain. It's x-intercept. X-intercept is again is halfway between the vertical asymptotes. So if I have a vertical asymptote here at zero and one at pi, right here at, or at pi halves, and then likewise there's going to be one over here at negative pi halves. So we know that the graph is going to cross right there, or that's where its x-intercept is, is at halfway between the two. The third thing we want to look at for, or the next thing we want to look for is what's happening a quarter of the way throughout the period and three quarters of the way throughout the period. We already find it, found out what's happening halfway. Let's find out what's happening at those quartile positions. Uh, and this is where we'll find out again its amplitude, much for the same reason we discovered earlier. So the quarter of the way through, it's going to be its positive amplitude. And in this one, its amplitude is one. So we're going to say a quarter of the way. It's going to be 1, and then 3 quarters of the way, it's going to be its negative value of its amplitude. So down here, 3 quarters of the way, whoops, sorry, sorry, quarter of the way right here is going to be 1. 3 quarters away, it's going to be down here at negative 1. And now I found the key points in the vertical asymptotes where I can go ahead and create this graph. It extends vertically uh, towards infinity. And then I can take the same graph and I can repeat it on at additional periods. So I'll have another graph here, here replicate it. And then I can repeat that indefinitely uh, towards negative infinity or positive infinity. So that's the basic cotangent graph. And yes, these particular points uh, on this graph, we do have the tools to find out exactly where those points are at as well with some basic algebra.